Put yourself in position to win big on Kentucky Derby Day with the power of daily racing form. Visit shop.drf.com and get past performances, expert picks, betting strategies, clock reports, and more. Again, that's shop.drf.com. Dan Ullman, Mike Beer are taking a look at sort of an interesting price source in the Kentucky Derby. If you're a fan of buyer speed figures, let's take a closer look at two fills who's entering the Derby off a breakout performance. A 101 buyer speed figure in the grade three Jeff Ruby stakes at a mile and an eighth. The problem is that race, of course, was on the all weather at Turfway Park. Two fills is good on dirt. He's a multiple stakes winner on the surface, including the grade three street sense at Churchill Downs as a two-year-old, but he did take that huge step forward on the all-weather. Was it the all-weather, Mike, that really got him over the top? Was it maybe not the strongest field that he was facing, or is he just a horse coming into his own? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the real question as we head into the Derby, Dan. I'm sort of leaning towards the, the final one of those options you laid out there, Dan. I just think this might be a horse who's – um, getting good at the right kind of time here. And that doesn't mean that he's probably not going to have to improve again um, in Kentucky. But man, his recent run of races, they're all pretty good. Um, that most recent start, I know it was on a different surface. He was much the best that day in fast time. And there were some horses, they're not, you know, derby bound horses in that in that most recent race, Dan. But those are horses who had good form on that surface that they were on. And this horse just destroyed them. He really looked strong in the stretch, and I think it was important because going into the Jeff Ruby stakes, it would be fair to question whether this horse wanted a mile and an eighth, let alone a mile and a quarter. He loomed boldly in both the Lecompte and the Risen Star, his first two starts of the year, and he kind of flattened out in the stretch of those races, one at a mile and a sixteenth, one at a mile and an eighth. Uh, are you comfortable with this horse getting another eighth of a mile in the Derby? Yeah, I mean, that, it's a question not only for him, but it's a question for just about everybody when we head to that race, Dan. So I don't really feel like um, I want to put too much stock in it, if only because this horse is going to probably be too good a price um, to want to get too concerned about distance with him. He seems like, I mean, it's easy enough anyway to go back to the two fairgrounds races and say, particularly the Risen Star um, back in mid-February, he was pretty close to a solid pace that day. He made the first move into it, and then he got out finished late by a horse who came um, from further behind. I mean, I, I still think he ran pretty well in that race. He is by Hard Spun, who placed in the Kentucky Derby. The dam was a multiple stakes winning sprinter and a half sister to a stakes place dirt sprinter. Two fills was a $150,000 buyback as a yearling. He goes out for the capable horseman, Larry Ravelli, who has this one right now based at Hawthorne, where he worked a bullet five furlongs on April the 16th. Running style standpoint. I'm not sure this horse is a true deep closer, Mike, but I think the break is going to tell a lot for two fills here. I'm not sure they want to keep him so far back where maybe he'd get discouraged with some dirt in his face. I think he is more of a mid-pack runner. If he could be eighth or ninth early and maybe only eight lengths off the lead instead of 15, I think the connections would be thrilled. Yeah, and I think that's viable for this horse, too. When you just go back, especially since they stretched him out. I mean, the first time they stretched him out was the Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland. He had a terrible post that day and was sort of nowhere behind Forte. But since then, um, that's sort of been his calling card, Dan. Really... Um, strong tactical speed. They take a nice hold of this horse, um, but he is never out running his races. He cruises around the turns in his races uh, before he makes a run to challenge. I mean, I think there's a uh, there could be a pretty good trip coming for him um, in Kentucky. Then he'll just have to probably take a step forward and get the distance. Some things to like about two fills. He has one of the fastest, if not the fastest race coming in to the Kentucky Derby, that 101 buyer in the Jeff Ruby Stakes. Prior graded stakes winning experience at Churchill Downs. Wins over wet and fast footing, and he should be a price.